Have you ever looked at a painting on your computer screen and gotten all excited about it? And then printed it and had it come out something like this, faded and blurred. This one's not as blurred, but it's lost the charm of that little shadow. Not vibrant. Pretty, but not vibrant. Same with this, same with this. The hack I'm gonna tell you about is so simple, I can't believe I did it before. And as I've been getting ready for this flower series of nostalgic flowers, uh, flowers that have memories for me, um, I wanted some better images. And if you are interested in this series and have a flower that you would love to see demoed that has fond memories for you, please put it in the comments and I'll see, I'll maybe get to it. All I did was put glossy photo paper into my printer. Can you believe it? That's all it took. Look at the difference. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't have even wanted to paint this if that had been on my screen. But this, it's so pretty. And this one, like I said, I was charmed by this little shadow and it kind of all blurred together. And look at this instead. The shadow is vibrant, the colors are bright. You can feel the transparency. This one's still pretty. I could have made an okay painting out of all of them, but this will be so much more easier and they'll come out better. Look at the difference. It just, this one shouts. And this one, it's pretty too, but look at the difference. It looks so crisp and clean. And this one, I had my computer, uh, my printer on the wrong setting. So it gets, it's got these lines on it, but it still is so much more vibrant than on plain paper. I painted my first one from one of these and what a difference it made to be able to see what's really happening and where the different, uh, and how the depth works out. If you would like to try glossy paper and don't have any, I put a link for the kind that I used in the description below. I also put a link for a computer that's giving away two years of free ink, which I thought was a pretty good deal. It's an HP printer, um, but I have had such success with them that I, I really do recommend them. Now, the one that I have is, it's outdated and it's hard to get ink, so um, this free ink one is what I will probably be trying next. I hope this is really helpful to you and that you get great reference pictures after this. Happy painting.